Welcome to Richtersfeld Revealed, an extraordinary journey through one of South Africa's most rugged and captivating landscapes. Nestled in the northwestern corner of the country, the Richtersfeld is a land of dramatic contrasts, where arid deserts meet the lush banks of the Orange River. Get ready to experience breathtaking vistas and challenging terrains in this incredible desert wilderness. This is Richtersfeld Revealed where the journey is as profound as the destination. Okay, let's just get our tires sorted for the, for the gravel roads. Should be around about 1.5 or so. Ready to go. Let's go. While many people may know about the Richtersfeld National Park, Few recognize the significance of its southern neighbor, the Richtersfeld Community Conservancy. This conservancy is the last refuge of Nama people living the transhumans lifestyle, which is to migrate seasonally with livestock from the mountains to the river. In recognition of this vanishing lifestyle and the rare botanical diversity it helps protect, the conservancy has been declared the core of a World Heritage Site. It is through this area that we now travel north towards the National Park. So we're coming up on GPS says 500 meters to a turn. Let her left. I ice Richtersfeld Trans Frontier Park. So weird, you're just turning on this big open piece of sand. As we arrive at Sendlingsdrif, the gateway to the Richtersveld, we make our way to the sand parks offices to check in. Nestled along the banks of the Orange River, Sendlingsdrif serves as the main entry point for adventurers exploring this rugged wilderness. Here we'll get our permits and receive essential information about the park ensuring we are prepared for the unique challenges and breathtaking beauty that lie ahead. Welcome to the heart of the Richtersveld. Let's go and check in. There's the Orange River. There's Namibia. Hello, Namibia. Here's Torts. The Wip Boikis Bram. That's where we go. Bram. Yes, we're going to Boikis Bram. Bram. So this way. Upon entering the park, we are greeted by almost otherworldly appearing mountains of various colors with dark bands wedged in between. The landscape changes from one panoramic scene to the next as we approach the Orange River. He's a little farmer. He's with his little Nama hut. Today, the Richtersveld National Park is one of the few places where the original Nama traditions survive. Here, the Nama move with the seasons, staying in traditional dwellings, a portable rush mat covered domed hut that is easy to move when grazing becomes scarce. Here we go, Boikis Bram campsite. And here's the little ablutions, and I assume the campsites just out in front here somewhere. Welcome to the Richterspelt. And see what the bathrooms look like. I don't know. Showers. Oh yeah, there's showers. And that side? Oh. And it says do not drink the water. We know that. We have brought our own water. It's hot. It's very hot. And there's no relief. Right, so we're going to try. We're trying to get ready for supper. We've got the fire going. Mate, it's so hot. Phew. Oh, my fire is just starting there. And then we're going to have a nice braai. I'm not really hungry. Wow. As dawn breaks over the mountains of the Richtersveld, 
the sky ignites with hues of fiery orange and crimson. The rising sun paints the thunderclouds in a breathtaking display. It's as if the heavens themselves are ablaze, welcoming a new day in this extraordinary desert wilderness. This is the Richtersveld at sunrise, a moment of pure, natural wonder. It's 7.34, uh -huh. and I'll have to close the door now. Oh dear, to see what the temperature is? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's 31. As we leave Poikis Pram and navigate the rugged tracts of the Richtersveld, the landscape unfolds in a symphony of raw, untamed beauty. Each twist and turn reveals new vistas of this harsh, yet mesmerizing desert wilderness. This is where, according to local belief, God pressed a hand down on the rock face, leaving his handprint on the mountains. And we are going to stop and take a look. Here we are, hand of God. Let's have a closer look. There it is. This is one of the famous landmarks here in the park. Today we're going to go on to De Wap. To access the central and northern sections of the park, we have to negotiate the challenging Akadis Pass. This pass is named for the large number of lizards, or Akadissa in Afrikaans, that are found here. The pass hasn't always been known as the Akadis Pass. It has, in fact, had two other names in the past. One when it was still only a footpath, and another, Brown's Pass, when it was built for vehicular traffic. It winds through rugged terrain, offering steep ascents and descents that test both vehicle and driver. But the scenery is truly magnificent, as we are fully immersed in a true mountain desert. Oh, that was fun! <laughs> We're literally surrounded by mountains now. And then we go do it. We've got some deeper sand to drive through now. This is still a river we're driving down now. Yes, I mean, you can see how the water is washed through here. It really feels like you're the only person on the face of the earth here. There's a little puddle of water. Oh, there's some trees up in the distance again. And that's probably the river. So we're pretty close to our destination, I think. This is the Whip campsite. There we go, there's the little ablutions at the top there. Okay. Solar panel time. We're right here on the banks of the Orange River. The river is really full. It's even creating little rapids a little way downstream there. We just walked a little way down the so-called river road at the Whoop Camp site and there's pretty much nothing left of it. So the river must have been right up high against the ablution. It's absolutely boiling. Oh, I have to walk from shade spot to shade spot otherwise Ooh. I'm going to die. So the sun has finally set. But it's much cooler now. There's a breeze that's blowing and oh, now we can breathe again. And Suzanne is making supper. What's for supper? Hello. It is curry and rice tonight. Do you want a strong curry? Um, not like blow your head off, no. Yummy curry and rice on the banks of the Orange River. 
at sunset. Good morning from the whip. We've already started to pack. Um, I think it's going to be a scorcher. Well, it's but. now 9.39 in the morning and it's 29 degrees. Well, hopefully we'll see more quiver trees today since we're going to Kuokerboom. Kluwif. Kuokerboom is a quiver tree. One of the most iconic sites in the Richtersveld is the quiver tree, named for the sand people's practice of hollowing out its branches to make quivers for their arrows. There are three species of quiver tree in the country. Seen here is the critically endangered aloe pilansi, also called the giant quiver tree. It is this species that is only found along a narrow band that includes the Richtersveld. Okay, so we just stopped here in this little riverbed. Look, you can, it's, it's like, it's like a crust, a crust of salt. You can see a lot of animals poor here. I don't know if the herders bring the animals here to drink maybe, but there are supposed to be kudus here too, but here's the little drop of water here. Right, let's go on. Left. It looks like we're driving on a volcano here. So up ahead, it, it's just flat and, and open. This open sparseness is called Springbok Flakta. As we reach Springbok Flakte, we're greeted by a vast expanse that stretches endlessly before us. The wide open plains framed by distant mountains are a breathtaking sight, embodying the sheer scale and raw beauty of the Richtersveld. I suppose you could say welcome to almost the top of Tatasbach. Whole valley down there. This today, the drive between um, the Wurm, the Wurm and Kuikerboom Kluwerf through the back roads, not along the river. Wow, it's just big views, big views all the way. Beautiful. Now on the way back from the viewpoint, you can see above us really beautifully. On our way to the Kuokerboom Kluwerf campsite, the drive takes us deeper into the heart of the Richtersveld. We pass the remarkable Toe rock formation, a natural sculpture that adds a whimsical touch to the rugged terrain. So I think we are where we're supposed to be. All around these boulders, there seems to be little campsites. So we've decided on campsite two for the time being. There we go, your dishwashing facilities. There is a tap and we have checked there is water there. We open the door, there is a toilet, the shower cubicle. There is a bit of wood across the top over here where you can um, hang your own bucket shower. The tent is finally up, it's now 10 to 5 and when I moved the bucky into position at half past 4 it was 39 degrees in the shade. Wow people look at that, a rainbow has just appeared. It's absolutely beautiful here, thundery sky and a rainbow here in the Richterstadt.
Good morning from Kukerboom Kloof here in the Richtersveld and it's coffee time. So there's the kettle on the go and the cups are waiting and as per usual now our milk is frozen. Wow that's an amazing rusk. Well done. I'm gonna eat it now. <laughs> okay we're going to go and wash our hair. Um, yeah. um, yes. We've got the bucket. We've got our hair. And it's time to go. We are heading towards Halskloof. The approach to Halskloof Pass is almost as rugged as the pass itself. The Halskloof Pass is one of the most dramatic and challenging routes in the Richtersveld National Park. The pass features steep rocky terrain that demands both skill and caution from drivers, making it not just a route through the landscape, but an adventure that embodies the wild, untamed spirit of the Richtersveld. Got to keep your thumbs out, otherwise the wheel can do this and break your thumb. As we tackle the rugged terrain, our vehicle's tires grip the rocky path on the steep descents. This pass demands precise navigation and skillful maneuvering. This is 4x4ing at its finest, where teamwork and skill come together to conquer the terrain. Sometimes even the best of lions still cause a bump or two. And here some road building skills may even be necessary to ensure that the vehicle comes through unscathed. And with that, our journey through the Richtersveld comes to an end. From the dramatic passes and ancient quiver trees to the vast expanses of Springbok Vlakte, the Richtersveld has left us in awe. And as we leave the park, we leave a bit of our heart in the place where God left his handprint. Goodbye! <laughs>